Hi there, stranger. I'm the Mass Analyst. This is a response to your recent video in which you attacked uh, Renetto for bringing commercialism into YouTube. You said that, or you implied that he was guilty of all that was wrong with YouTube, and that it's because of him that YouTube has gone straight to hell, and because of his hypocrisy. You, in fact, compared him to Judas Iscariot. I'm going to do something that's going to make me a lot of enemies today. I'm going to defend commercialism and Judas Iscariot. First, though, I want to note that Renetto is not responsible for everything that's gone wrong with this, with this site. It's not Renetto's fault that the administration of YouTube uh, refuses to look into false DMCA's and honors them without question. It's not Renetto's fault that they suspend accounts without even a cursory, cursory investigation. It's not Renetto's fault that they're slow in responding to accounts that have been wrongfully suspended. And in fact, it's pretty damn near impossible for anybody to communicate with the YouTube staff, at least any of us lower level peons. Yeah, they probably treat their partners right. They, I'm sure, get to communicate if something goes wrong with their accounts. But uh, for us average peons, uh, trying to communicate with anyone at YouTube is next to impossible. And I don't think that that is Renetto's fault. Now, I'm going to uh, defend uh, Judas Iscariot and commercialism. And I know people are going to take this out of context. I know they're going to take selected quotes out of this without going through my logic, and they're going to make me look real bad. So be it. Uh, first, I'm going to defend the easier uh, of the two. I'm going to defend Judas Iscariot. Uh, Judas has gotten a bad rap. Boy, now that's a statement that's going to get taken out of context. Uh, but think about it. Think about Christian theology. According to Christian theology, uh, and I'm no expert on this, but the death of Jesus was necessary in order to provide a path for the salvation of man or women. Uh, but in order for us to have our salvation, Jesus Christ had to die on the cross. Now, Judas played a key role in this. If Judas hadn't pointed him out to the Romans, Jesus wouldn't have died on the cross. I'll get, you might quibble with that. I'll get back to that in a moment. But without Judas's help, he wouldn't have died on the cross. And then where would we be? God's plan called for Judas to, uh, to betray Jesus. Uh, to, for Judas to betray Jesus. God's plan called for that. Now, one could argue that, well, if it weren't for Judas, God would have found some other way for uh, Jesus to fall within the Roman stance. But for whatever reason, God, I would suspect, wanted Judas to be the one to betray uh, Jesus. Otherwise, you know, if I, I'm sure God was watching the events unfold very closely. And if things weren't going as he liked, well, he could have uh, gone presto changeo, whammo bammo, did one of his hocus pocus miracles and say... Uh, put duct tape over uh, Brutus's lips so he could never have told the Romans about uh, Jesus' presence. So God let it, uh, the plan unfold. So one can only uh, assume that this had the God seal of approval. So if it hadn't been for Judas's betrayal, where would uh, Christian theology be? Where, where, where would any of us be? Now, as an atheist, I have to admit that this whole thing kind of befuddles me. I, I really don't understand why God made the rule that Jesus had to uh, die for our sins. I really don't understand that. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand why he made his son sacrifice his life in order to cleanse us. It really doesn't make sense. Seeing how God is the big guy, he makes up all the rules. He could have made up any damn rule he pleased. Uh, if, if he had wanted to, instead of sacrificing the, son, the blood of his son, he could have said, okay, you people, bow down to me three times saying, God is great, God is great, God is great, and then do the chicken dance and make absolute fools of yourselves, and that will be enough uh, for your salvation. Hey, if God is all-powerful, he could have made that rule, but he didn't. He chose to uh, sacrifice his son. Maybe he's got a sadomasochistic streak in him. I don't know. But for whatever reason, that's a rule, and if that's a rule he makes, then... The plan had to unfold. Judas had to betray Jesus in order for us uh, to have our salvation. 
anyone who believes the story of Christian theology should be thanking Judas. So Judas is a bad rap, just as commercialism on YouTube has a bad rap. I'm going to point you, I'm going to post a link in the sidebar to an article. Uh, the key thing that I want you to note is that it costs YouTube estimated uh, $1 million a day just for their bandwidth. I have no problems with YouTube trying to commercialize their site. Absolutely none whatsoever. If they didn't try to commercialize this on their site, if they didn't try to make money, well, the site wouldn't last very long. Community is great. It's wonderful. YouTube should have a sense of community. But without at least some commercial aspect, there's not going to be a YouTube. There's not going to be a place like this for us to interact. So commercialism is absolutely necessary. Now, whether or not Renetto has done bad things, whether or not he's been a hypocrite, we're going to let other people decide that for themselves. But as far as uh, bringing in uh, advertising, as far as uh, establishing a, uh, a breach or a front for commercialism to invade YouTube, I have no problems with that. We need commercialism to survive. YouTube needs commercialism to survive. Without it, there would be no community. This has been the Mass Analyst, under an end.